Hello, and welcome to this provider overview of BiteBlock software. You'll receive a login email with a default password. Go to BiteBlock.com and click on login. Here, you can enter in your email address and the default password. You can click on keep me logged in. And if you just close the web browser and don't click the log out button, the next time you go back to the login page, it will automatically sign you into your account. And if you forgot your password, all you need to do is click on forgot password, enter your email and click here on the login page and enter in your email address. You'll receive a temporary password. You can come back here and enter that in and then click on login. By default, you'll be logged into the provider portal. There are two ways of changing your password. You can click on the staff tab and select change password. And here you can enter in the current password, new password, and confirm it. And lastly, click save. Or click on your profile and in the password section, you can enter in a new password, confirm it. Note, the password has to be a minimum of eight characters long with an uppercase, lowercase, and a number. Click the save button after changing your password. There are five tabs, master, provider, staff, messages, and payroll. By default, the provider tab will display. Mostly everything is located in the provider portal. There's a schedule section. You have shortcuts from the provider portal to the master schedule or your individual schedule. You can also access the schedules down below. Click on a shift to propose a change in the shift scheduling. You could give take or split or make a change to already worked shifts or to confirm your worked hours. Click on your name or the provider's name to propose or certify a schedule change. You could also look at their contact info by just clicking on show contact. And if they have their email or their phone number listed, it would be listed right here. And you can just click on it and compose an email in your email program. You can also look at the provider availability for the day by clicking on show provider availability and it will tell you if they're okay to work, if there's a conflict, need off, wish off, and so forth. You can click on edit hours or assignment to adjust your time. You can confirm your hours by clicking on your name and selecting confirm hours if this option is available and you'll see the shift highlighted in green and if you hover over the shift, you can actually see the shift details and it will tell you the time of the shift, the date, and how many hours of the shift. If you've adjusted your hours, you'll see a little A next to the shift name. It just means that you worked over or under than the scheduled shift hours. If you see an S, it just means the shift is split. Future schedules will not be confirmed until they're worked. So that option will not be available until you actually work the shift. You can press the escape key or the cancel button. Close the window. If this is the current day, the number of the day will be highlighted. If there's a shift that's available in the swap meet, it would be highlighted in yellow. You can actually pick up this shift by clicking on act on proposal without going into the swap meet. It will tell you what the shift is and it will tell you if it was listed by someone else, but it's just telling you it's a take to pick up the shift. You can accept or decline the offer. We can go ahead and we can click accept and then you'll be prompted. Now you'll see yourself scheduled for that shift that was originally available on the 14th. You have the option to select another provider from the provider selector, and then you can go ahead and determine if you want to split, trade, or take someone's shift. You can click on the little X or press the escape key and it will dismiss the highlighted provider for you. You can also remove yourself and just look at the master schedule if you'd like. If you select yourself, you'll have your little provider comment function or you can click on control and two and it would be added to the bottom of the day and you could add a note here if you'd like. Only you and the administrators will be able to see this comment. You can also click on toggle editing of provider comments or click on control and two to remove the provider comment feature from the bottom of the day. You could also remove the menu from the top by clicking on maximize the calendar in the browser or click F11. If you want to get back, you can click back on the icon or click F11 again. You can increase your font size or decrease it 
right here. There's a confirm all button if the confirmation of hours is turned on by your administrator. You can just confirm all shifts at the end of the month or the beginning of the next month. You can do that from the individual schedule as well. If there's multiple sites in your schedule, if there's like an ED, an urgent care, or walk-in clinic, or another hospital, and you have the little titles at the top, you can just look at a specific site if you would like by clicking on select sites and you can remove the specific site completely by selecting the checkbox where it says the name or you can remove certain shifts if you would like. You have the option to print and change the print options and print to a PDF. You can also select other schedules if your admin has published them. They'll be available right here to access. The online help is located on every screen. You can click the back button to get back to the provider portal or you can drill down into your individual schedule. Thank you for watching.